What is up, Neophytes? My name's Alan, aka Neocryptor, and welcome to another video. Today, we are going to delve into setting up a GTA 5 5M server over on G Portal. It's not too difficult, but there's a couple things that people seem to be getting confused about, so I decided to go ahead and set up a tutorial for it. So let's go ahead and talk about prerequisites, what you're going to need. You're obviously going to need a copy of Grand Theft Auto 5, not the enhanced edition that doesn't work with 5M yet, but it will soon, .to. Uh, you're going to need a CFX account. Um, everything will be linked down there, by the way, just to, to let you know. And you're going to need, obviously, Steam. Uh, by the way, it doesn't matter where you have Rockstar you, or Rockstar, where you have GTA 5. It can be on Rockstar or Steam or wherever. Um, but you do need it. You do need that, and you do need Steam. Um, and obviously, you're in the G Portal account. Come on. <laughs> but that's really about it. Um, we're, there's a couple of other little things we'll talk about as we go, but those are the core things that you're going to need. Oh, and the 5M software, obviously. Obviously, you can't play on 5M soft or server without the 5M software. So you, yeah, links again down there. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so the first thing is we're going to be over on gportal.com. Right now, 5M is new, and these aren't loading for me very well right now. I don't know why, um, but 5M is new, so it's on the front page. There's 50% off of a 5M server right now, which is really good. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do it the traditional way because these change from time to time, so this might not be there, you know, continuously. You can either click on all servers here or rent a server up here, which is what I am going to do. We're going to let that load. We're going to scroll down just a little bit. Games A to Z, we're going to type in 5 and boom, 5M right there. We're going to order now. We are going to select wherever is best for you. For me, it's Dallas uh, because I just moved to Texas recently. Dig in Texas, by the way. Uh, and, and Dallas is only like an hour down the road from me. So we're going to click order now. 10 slots is playing for this tutorial considering I'm going to be deleting it after we're done anyway because it's going to end up showing you some of the keys and this and that and you don't need that information no <laughs> all right I'm going to pay with my credits I have right here and it's going to kick us straight in to the G portal server for your 5m boom shakalaka 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 boom all right so here we are we're on our status page. On the status page, you can find uh, a lot of good information, your FTP information for the server. You can find the database information for the server. Uh, when the server is running, your TX admin information will show up here, which is very important because TX admin is how you actually uh, set up the server, control the server, uh, and everything, everything that has to do with the server is done through TX admin. And a lot of people are using the wrong information. They're trying to make their own TX admin accounts. You don't do that. You use the information that is here that uh, will show up when it is started. Okay, cool. So we're going to go under basic settings. And we're going to need to set up a server registration key, which conveniently there's a link here that will you know take you right to it. I hit control uh, click on it because that opens every anytime you hit control click on Chrome. It opens in a new tab, if you didn't know that. We're going to set a display name here. We're going to go Nana Nuki Foo Foo, because I don't know why. <laughs> but there we go. We got Nana Nuki Foo Foo. We're going to hit copy registration key right there, and we're going to paste it right in there. I'm not going to bother blurring it out, because like I said, I'm going to delete all this stuff when we're done, just so you know. Server hosting, we're going to call this Neo's Tutorial. News Touring 2. Two. Can't spell. I really can't spell it. Jeez. Okay, Neo's Tutorial. Sure, why not? And we're going to name the project name. Again, something Neo Project. Sure. Let's do that. Project description. A tutorial for 
the YTs. Like and subscribe. Does that, well, does that work for, you know, subliminal messaging? Let me know if you hit the like and subscribe button because of that. <laughs> All right. So that's all set up. I am also going to go ahead and turn on allow script hook, uh, which what that does is allow various scripts of different languages like .NET or Lua to run on the server. Primarily Lua. I think Lua is used the most. Could be wrong. Uh, I highly recommend using a Steam API key. I cannot right now. I need to get my T 2FA figured out on Steam right now. It's borked, and I can't get my Steam API key, but you need 2FA enabled on your account for Steam, and you, then you can just click the little here button to go get it. Now, the reason this is important, it's for administration purposes. It gives you the ability to kind of ban players and, you know, do things of that nature in, in uh in the uh, TX admin. Without that, there's I don't know if there is a way for you to do that. So if you want to avoid chaos, get get the uh, Steam key. I'm just saying it's free, doesn't cost a penny, as long as you have a Steam account, which who really doesn't? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and click start. We're gonna let the page start. While the page is starting, we're gonna go ahead and click back over on the status page, and I need some water. It's empty. That's not good. And now it's not empty. Much better. Okay. So now we should have TX admin information. Look at that right there. So we're going to copy the password. We're going to click on the link, which is going to take us over here to our TX admin. We're going to type in the username and the password provided and go boom, shakalaka. All right, so now this is where you name your server, believe it or not. So we're going to call this ha, 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 test server because fun names are fun, right? We're going to click next. I am going to, right now, we're going to just go through the popular recipes because none of this is relevant to a basic tutorial. I am going to choose QB core framework right here because this is kind of, you know, I'm, a, I'm kind of an RP guy, just gonna say it. And uh, this is kind of newer. You can choose any of these. This is like the default bare minimal to get the 5M server up and running. Uh, this adds in some extra stuff like, you know, some extra character customization, some jobs and, you know, a lot of good fun. So we're gonna use that. We're not gonna mess with the path. We're gonna click save. We're gonna go to the recipe deployer. You can scan through this if you want to. It's basically a bunch of links to GitHub to get all the scripts that the server needs to run. So we're just going to click next on it, like so. And then we're going to run recipe. And it's going to sit here, and it's going to chug, and it's going to chug, and it's going to be done. All right, so next we're going to, well, we're going to click next. Boom, now this is your config for the server. If you want to change anything, whether you do, do not, do not change the uh, IP address. That will break everything. Uh, there's links in here to server commands, to your QB core documentation, you know, anything and everything to do with the config of the server is pretty much right there. We're going to leave it default. I'm going to click save and run server, and the server is going to start up. While the server is starting up, let's go ahead and take a look at what all we got. We got our server dashboard, uh, server, you know, player drops, server stats, performance, yada, yada, yada. We have our live console, which is what we were just seeing. We have resources. Now, this is where you can stop and restart, start, you know, different things like, you know, your jobs and all the crafting on the server, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, explore that at your leisure. Of course, we have our server logs, which we don't have really have any right now since it's a fresh server. We have your config. If you want to go back and adjust that config, it's right there. Up here, we have the players that are online when they first join or last time they've been on. So all the players for your server. Next, we have your whitelist settings. We have the admins for the server, your general server settings like your language and what you named it. And then a few other things. Explore TX Admin, 
it's where you do everything, schedule restarts, etc. So we're going to copy this right now because our server should be up and running. So we're going to open up 5M. Okay, now that it is loaded, my camera is a little laggy right now because this laptop does not have a lot of RAM and I'm loading a bunch of crap. There, it's kind of smooth out. Yeah, we're just going to work with it. We're just we're just going to work with it because we, what we're going to do is we are going to turn the camera off. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right, so we're going to click on play. And there's a couple different ways you can join your server. You can type in the name. And there it is right there. If you can grab the IP address off of the, your server's page, you can enter in the IP address right here and hit enter. It'll let you join. There we go. We're back. My headset cut out. Interesting. Uh, there is also a join link directly on the server's dashboard. But we are just going to type in the name here. We're going to ha 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 test server and click connect. All right. And here we are inside of our own 5M server. We're going to create a new character. We're going to call this guy Boomhauer, probably spelled wrong, and name him Bill. <laughs> Boomhauer Bill. Nationality, he is obviously going to be from, oh, let's say Chad. Chad works, right? And male, and he was born today. <laughs> I'm not really playing, so we're just skipping through this real quick. We're going to select, I don't care, anywhere, Morningwood Boulevard. Seems fitting for Boomhauer, don't it? Um, and we're going to spawn in. It should bring us into a character creator as all of our icons at the bottom left spawn in. That kind of looked like Boomhauer for a second. I'm disappointed. So we're going to, we can cycle through models and just... You know, pick whatever. I'm going to just say that guy. That guy works. See the uh, hello door. What? What's going on? I think my mouse messed up. Ugh. There we go. Yeah. Or e apartment options. Maybe I need to step away from the door. Please step away from the door and come back. There we go. There we go. Boom. Leave apartment. Oh, wow. howdy, ladies. How you doing? Do you like my attire? Can, can I bum a cigarette? Because I could use a cigarette. This guy definitely smokes. <laughs> but you can see we're in GTA 5. And, uh, yeah, everything is up and running. You can run amok with your friends. Do whatever it is you want to do. And, yeah. That's going to conclude the tutorial, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit a, hit the like button. Maybe leave a comment. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment, and I will answer them as best I can. But that's going to be it. Uh, again, if you guys want to check this out right now over on G-Portal, 50% off. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I never let in with that, but, yeah, I'm just making this video. Um and, of course, I do have a referral link down below that will give you 10% 10, uh, 10 off as well. So if you want to go get your own GTA 5 server or Red Dead server, that's coming next. That's going to be our next video. We're going to set up a Red M server. And, uh, yeah, go check it out over at G Portal. Until next time, guys, this is Neo. I love your faces. And I'll see you in game. Bye.